It's all about. No? What is the ignorance? Any idea? We are not in the darkness. No tube light to jal rahe hai. The light to jal rahe hai. On the darkness to nahi hai. So what is the darkness that is mentioned? Even in Vedic scriptures, it's mentioned, na, tamasoma, jyotirgama, you know, like uh, from the darkness, you leave the darkness and go to the light. So, we are already in Roshni. So, what is the ignorance uh, that we are, uh, this material world is like eternal, we will be here, we are attached to this body. Yeah, yeah. So, that is the darkness. So, if we see uh, from Bhagavatam, so there is something called Chatushloki Bhagavatam. So, like second canto, ninth chapter, mein, no kuch shloka, char shloka, to usko chatur shloki bhagavatam bolta hai. So, there, uh, you know, we see that first shloka, Krishna mentions how, like, he is existing and how everything that exists in this whole creation is nothing but his energies. No, there is, like, essentially, Krishna is the only one person who exists in the whole creation. Right? So, then what all these matter that we are seeing? Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, false ego. These are all Krishna's material energy. And we, the living entities, are the Krishna's marginal energy. And the spiritual creation is Krishna's internal energy. So essentially speaking, there is only one supreme you know, entity that exists and rest everything is his energies. Practically speaking, everything has its connection with the Lord. So in the second shloka you know, of Chatur Shloki, it is mentioned, even though everything is connected to the Lord, if you are able to see something, something in this world which is not connected to him, this is maya. That is a no ignorance. No, that is the uh, like uh, ignorance that actually covers us. So now we see that like everything has its connection to the Lord, but we are not able to see its connection to the Lord. So now this ignorance is dissipated. Now, how if uh, no, imagine like this uh, modern technology is not there, tube light nagara nahi hai. So, Roshni ka kya upaya hai? Like, what is a sun is the, this one, no? Like, the thing for the uh, light. And if sun is not there, we are in darkness, can we create some light over there? Fire, thoda sa, thoda bohut hai hota hai. But, Suraj jaysa aata hai, like, no? Pura Roshni ho jata hai, like, sab kuch dikhai pata hai. Vaisa to nahi pata hai, no? So, it becomes, it is not possible. So, we have to wait for the sun only to come, you know? So what is the sun here? Sun is Krishna and we are the living entities and darkness is we are not able to see everything that exists is in connection with the Lord. You know? In fact, the scripture says, Vayam Dutiyad Abhinevesha So like Krishna is the only entity that exists and everything is his, you know, part and parcel. Everything else is his energies. So now when I'm able to see another entity that exists you know, in parallel to the Lord, so then I get fear. No, definition of fear is mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam. So fear comes no, when I see a no, dvitiya, no, when I see a second reality that exists apart from the Supreme Lord. Right? So if I think that okay, this Chalta, it doesn't have any connection to the Lord. So if I just think like that, so then this can be potentially a cause for my fear. No? So that is how the uh, whole definition of fear is actually uh, put in. So this ignorance means fear. So now like some of the experience of like if there is full shutdown of power or something like that and it's fully dark and in the night like you get up but you have to go to you know, even your washroom or something like that. Now, you know, you know, like you know, darkness, you know, they get too much uh, fear, you know. So, darkness generally imposes fear, you know, like uh, if if we don't know certain things, certain details, you no, know, generally it imposes fear. And we have seen, you no know, people before going to the exam, no, tik se pada nahi, matlab usko sab kuch nahi jaanta hai, matlab thoda fear aata hai, you know. So and knowledge gives happiness, knowledge gives confidence and things like that. And here we see that real knowledge means to understand that everything that exists is you no know, part and parcel of the Lord, and uh, you no, know, He is the one like you no know, who is governing everything. And then we have to, we are also as part and parcel of the Lord, meant to be engaged in the service of the Lord, right? So now a corollary aspect of this is that if we are not able to see everything in relation with the Lord, so what happens is, like we will start, you know, the uh, darkness in the condition of darkness, we will imagine ourselves to be Purusha, Purusha means enjoyer, and everything that exists is meant for my enjoyment. 
no this naturally this consciousness comes and when krishna arises in the heart what happens we will see that oh everything is part and parcel of krishna everything should be used in his service and i am also part and parcel of krishna i should also engage in krishna's service so this no change now for example if i am there in the mood of purusha no i am in the mood of enjoyer and uh, like i'm somebody told me that no no like seva bhavi acha hai like no seva karna chahiye so can i program myself no it is not possible krishna has to arise in my heart no until unless krishna shows his mercy i cannot think in another way no it is not possible right so that is why now we see that now we put this this one um, uh, we also in this connection we also discuss another shloka at shri krishna namadi na bhavet grahyam indriye no so like shri krishna namadi shri krishna nama rupa guna and leela so these are all the things that we can understand about the supreme lord so these things na bhavet grahyam indriye we cannot understand or we cannot access them through our material senses so then um, like we cannot access them then no kaisa bhagwan ko kaisa pehchan payenge kaisa understand kar payenge so sevon ke hi jeeva do no like using our senses so that is you no know, with the tongue you not know, to start with you no know, with the tongue we taste prasadam and we uh, like chant the hari krishna mantra and we also discuss the glories of the lord sevon ke hi jeeva do no like using the senses starting with the tongue no engaging them in the service of the lord and swayam eva smrati yada the lord when he pleased with our service he will automatically swayam eva no like a smrati yada he on his own accord he will actually reveal himself unto us right so this is a most important thing so that is why there is prayers that is there in the devotion service so otherwise like the is ka ek aur example hum log dekhte hain ki like uh, there is a beggar is there and he wants money he knows that you have money in your pocket will he take money from your pocket no like what he will he do bill bag no sir please sir like i don't have anything please give me something you know so the same thing we see that we want krishna but we cannot access him by our own no that is when the prayers come so we pray to krishna and when krishna becomes pleased no he reveals himself on prayers so that's the whole process of bhakti yoga now we need to actually offer prayers to krishna so otherwise like no itna sadhana karne mein bhagwan mil jayenge to prayer kyu chahiye hai na to main mala kar lunga bhagwan mil jayenge main aise nahi hote so without prayer execution of devotional service will not be fruitful right so that is why in our deity worship no like we have you no know, right from the morning we have different prayers no morning mangal aarti prayer is there to sansar dava prayer then narshima prayer is there you no know, we seek narshima for protection you know and then tulsi prayer is there no that's in fact like really really very advanced prayer actually you now wherein we are asking tulsi marani you no know, she is the service in charge in the spiritual world so humko no golok gundan mein kuch seva chahiye to inko no please karna chahiye you know so like we ask tulsi marani please engage me in the service of shishadana and krishna so these are all prayers very important prayers actually so when we do this prayers then lord becomes pleased and you no know, he actually shows mercy upon us right so this knowledge you no know, is what we get from you know spiritual masters like shri prabhupada you know so like they are by their teaching by reading their books you no know, we should read regularly shri prabhupada's books you no know, here you no know, his lectures and things like that so when we do this what will happen so we will be removed from the darkness and we will be put in the light you no know? jnana anjana shalakaya you no know? chakshur unmilitam so they open our eyes you no know, to see the spiritual reality otherwise we will be seeing only the material reality so like we can say material falsity you know? so like we will see the material things so what happens in the material things like we see that everything is you no know, uh, different from krishna and it is meant for my enjoyment you no know? that's the understanding we get actually so now for that purpose like because the spiritual master gives this knowledge to us we offer our obeisances you no know, we offer our gratitude because like they have given the real vision to us and then we uh, chant another prayer you no know, shri chaitanya mano bishtam sapita mena bhutale swayam rupas kada madhyam kadati swapadantikam so this is shri chaitanya mano bishtam whatever is the heart's desire of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so like uh, no rupa goswami no he actually established that heart's desire of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in this world no such a great personality as rupa goswami <laughs> may he give shelter at his lotus feet no that's this prayer so this is one of the six goswamis of vrindavan so we no take shelter of him because the mood of 
the parampara is carried down you know we are all called as the rupanugas you no know, like followers of shri rupa goswami so that is why this special prayer of you know towards you know, rupa goswami is offered so then after that we uh, chant the vandeham prayers in fact this vandeham prayer is you no know, one prayer is sufficient it can encompasses everything actually so in the vandeham prayer like we you know offer obeisances to the spiritual master and we offer obeisances to the various shiksha gurus then we offer obeisances to the six goswamis of vrindavan then the panchatatva then shri shri radha and krishna along with you no know, the uh, sakis so it is very very complete prayer actually you no know, um, like in that way that is also very amazing prayer so then after that we start prayers from the guru parampara you no know, shila prabhupad pranam mantra so we offer prayers and then bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur who is the spiritual master bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur spiritual master aapka guru parampara mein hai ठाकुर no quite a amazing personalities no very very great devotees and no we actually worship them so what is the purpose of worshiping no like uh, some spiritual masters like who are not presently currently present here and uh, who exist at some point in time so why what is the purpose of putting them in our altar any idea hmm so they are oh look they are not here Hmm? yeah that's very important thing spiritual personalities doesn't have material limitation right so they are available for us and you no know, when the acharyas like uh, when shila prabhupada established this whole system of worship so you no know, these are all transcendental personalities they know these personalities are available for us so when we pray how do we know like they are available कभी घर घर पे कोई है तो लाइक नो वो है कि नहीं चेक करने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं मतलब ना तो नहीं आएगा ना आए तो भी लाइक वो है सो वी एक्चुअली कॉल अपॉन देम एंड देन वी गेट अटिकेशन सो इन द सेम वे दिस प्रणाम मंत्र वॉट इज गिवन टू अस नो प्रणामिटी like best of mercy upon us right so that confidence we should have so when we have the confidence faith and then we chant the pranam mantra we like you no know, uh, we seek help from them definitely they will help us right so that is one very important thing it is not some ritual that you no know, we have kept you know all these personalities at the, at the altar so all of them are available for us you no know, all of them are so much merciful towards us you no know? they want you no know, to see our welfare so that is why you no know, we keep their pictures on the altar and by the way of proper invocation we can actually access them right so then um, like all these uh, personalities are there so then after that we have the shar goshami sapandavan so like in the this one uh, in the uh, mangala sharan prayers also we offered pranam mantra to jagannath das baba ji maharaj then after that we offer a pranam mantra which is called you no know, vancha kalpa to rogya shar you no know, that is vaishnav pranam so like for all the other acharyas in the line of disciplic succession so we offer like one common mantra right so then after that we worship the panchatatva you no know, we worship chaitanya mahaprabhu and panchatatva so this is the like way in which we actually approach radha and krishna so after we uh, like offer pranam mantras of uh, like chaitanya mahaprabhu and panchatatva so then we offer pranam mantra of krishna and then we offer three another pranam mantras for krishna what are they like radha madan mohan radha gobinda de and radha gopinath so they are called the sambandha 
Atidayan Prayojana Vigrahas. So Samanda Vigraha means like there are three subject matters are there to be understood in the progression in Krishna consciousness. So Samanda means who am I? Who is the Lord? You know, what are the things that are present in this world? What is its relationship with you know, Krishna? And conclusion of Samanda Gyan is that I am part and parcel of Krishna and I am meant to render service to Krishna. You know, that is the conclusion of Samanda. And Abhidaya is the process by which we worship the Lord. And then Prayajana is the goal that we are trying to attain. Right? So, like, uh, you no, know, this Prayajana is the goal that we want to attain. And what is the goal that we want to attain? Huh? Krishna Bhakti. Okay. Any other refined word for that? Krishna Prem. Yeah. So that's very important thing. Like we see that uh, there is one nice shloka is there, you know, which talks about the final conclusions of Krishna consciousness. So <laughs> we have Aradhya Bhagavan. Who is Aradhya Bhagavan? Krishna. Like Krishna means which Krishna? <laughs> Yeah. Ah, so, yeah, that is very important. So, like son of Yashoda Maharani or son of Nanda Maharaj. So, Aradhya Bhagavan, <laughs> Rajeshatanaya. So, like, no, so that Krishna only we want to worship. Not Krishna in Kurukshetra, not Krishna in, no, uh, like uh, Dwarka. So, we are not worshippers of that Krishna. No, specifically Krishna in Vrindavan, no, the son of Nanda Maharaj. So, then Aradhya Bhagavan, Rajeshatanaya, and then Tattama Vrindavan. So another one important <laughs> entity of worship for us is the holy dam of Vrindavan, you know, where Krishna appeared. Right? So this is these two are very important. And then um, what is the next thing? Ramya Kachi Tupasana Rajavadu. No, like Vargayana uh, So this is like the best form of worship is the worship offered by the gopis of Vrindavan. And then what is the highest pramana? Like we understand so many things, we discuss so many things. It should have some evidence. Pra, no, pramana means evidence. Now, what is the highest pramana that we have? So, like Srimad Bhagavatam, Pramanam Amalam. No, which is faultless, no pramana. Amalam means faultless. And then, like, no pramana means no evidence. No, that is the basis of all that we know, no, all that we believe in. So, the basis is Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam, Pramanam Amalam. And then, Prema Kumar Pumahan. No, like uh, Puman means like Pumsa means like the human beings. Artha is the goal, no, or the final destination. Prema is the final destination that we are looking for. No, Krishna Prem is what is what no, what we actually want. So to understand that, we have the different different steps, just like you no, know, we enter into the education system, like you no know, LKG, UKG, and these days. Please school be out there, please school be out there, please, please. And now, if you are like, no, final conclusion is like triple A TV jacket phones, you know? <laughs> As a, in the same way we have in Bhakti also, like Shraddha, then after that is uh, Sadhu Sangha, then Bhajana Kriya, Anatta Navruti, then um, what is the next thing? Nishta, Ashakshi, Ruchi, Bhava, and Prema. So this is the final stage. Now, when we reach the stage of Prema, so that is the goal of life. No, that's what we want. And in simple terms, how to understand this? It is to understand that we become very, very you know, attached to Krishna. We develop so much deep love and affection for Krishna. So that is the stage of prema. And it will have its corollary that we will have detachment from this, you know, from the material things. So that is a corollary to that. You know? So when we get attachment to Krishna, naturally we will get detachment from the material things. Right? So we will be able to see everything as part and parcel of Krishna. Everything is meant to be used in service of Krishna. You no, know, that natural vision will come you know, when we actually reach the stage of pain. So now this is the goal that we are trying to attain. And how to attain this goal? You no, know, can I access Krishna directly? Can I go to Krishna directly and access? So there is one nice, you know, one devotee. You know, he actually came. The uh, this one, uh, the leader in Nepal. Prabhuji ka naam kya? Patri Prabhu. No, very, very, no, very, so much uh, energetic devotee. No, unko dekhenge na, like, you'll all be like electrified. <laughs> so he gave one nice example no, for this. No, water tank and the pipeline. 
no like example this is very amazing example to understand the whole altar and guru parampara you no know, the water tank has you no know, it is the reservoir of water that we have and then how to access that water for your practical purposes you no know, agar aapko use karna hai water ko to aapko pipeline chahiye and then tap chahiye uske bina like hum log use nahi kar sakte so tank with water is of not much of help for us you no know, it, it should be made usable by the way of pipeline so in the same way krishna with all his mercy is not usable for us <laughs> so we we can access krishna only through the guru parampara you no know? so krishna can be accessed only through the guru parampara you no know? so that is the way you no know, he you no know, that is the way he distributes his mercy just like you no know, agar wholesale company mein like you kuch factory mein jaake like you no know, kuch product mangenge are dukaan mein jaake khareed lo isse nahi dikhte are bolte na like wo company bhar ke product hai but no other sale nahi hote hai you know तो उसके बाद डीलरशिप होता है और डीलरशिप से लेकर तो दुकान में होता है देन फ्रॉम देयर वी कैन एक्चुअली बाय इवन होलसेल डीलर के पास जाएंगे तो भी लेकिन आपको मिलना मुश्किल है नो एक प्रोडक्ट एक तो नहीं देगा सो लाइक दैट सो इन दिस वे नो द मर्सी इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू द गुरु परंपरा सो दैट इज व्हाई वी कीप नो ऑल द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर्स पिक्चर्स नो दैट इज अ चैनल थ्रू व्हिच वी आर एक्चुअली एक्सेसिंग द मर्सी राइट सो विदाउट द मर्सी ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड पंचतत्व so it is not possible to access shri shri radha and krishna and then without the mercy of the you no know, various acharyas who are there in the parampara it is not possible for us to access the mercy of shri krishna so that is why you now this altar is arranged in this particular way and specifically we see you know we are worshipers of krishna and that to worshipers of the you no know, the son of nanda maharaj son of yashodamaya so that krishna we are worshiping and it is very very important if you want to get something no if a person has that particular object only he can give us no that particular thing so we cannot have uh, this one like no we cannot get this uh, mercy without you no know, going through the panchatattva it is not possible because now it it requires a resident of vrindavan to actually distribute the mercy of vrindavan you no know? and specifically you no know, today morning we were discussing this particular point So when Rupa Goswami, when he saw Krishna, when he saw you know, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for the first time, so he actually chanted a particular verse. You no, know, what is the verse? Namo Mahavadanyaaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratmishe Namaha. What is the meaning of this? Namo Mahavadanyaaya, you are most beneficent, and Krishna Prema Pradayate, you are distributing Krishna Prema everywhere, and then Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya. Oh, you are Krishna only. No. why you are krishna because you are distributing krishna prem so like if that is the case even shri prabhupa distributed krishna prem so wo unko bhi krishna bolenge kya ha sir like why is rupa goswami using this logic because you are distributing krishna prem you are krishna himself why is rupa goswami using this logic okay so then तो अभी वही लॉजिक अभी अप्लाई करेंगे प्रॉपर भी तो कृष्ण पे बात है तो फिर उनको कृष्ण बोल सकते हैं या सो द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर्स दे आर एक्चुअली फैसिलिटेटिंग चैतन्य महापुरुष मोसी टू कम इफ यू रिमूव चैतन्य महापुरुष फ्रॉम द परंपरा यू हैव ऑल द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर्स इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क एक्चुअली नो Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there in the parampara. He brought the this one mercy of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, and the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on the strength of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu they can distribute. You no, know? if not for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like right, the parampara would not be like this. You no, know? if Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not there, why will his followers come as the acharyas? That also will not happen actually. So you no, know, it is only when the Lord in His you no know, prime feature when He comes. His followers actually follow him, you know, in the parampara actually. So otherwise, it doesn't happen, right? So it is mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that we are able to access Radha and Krishna. So now, when we are worshiping, you no, know, Gandhari to Giridhari, so we should have this mood, like, you no, know, we should. It is not that you no, know, I directly you no know, approach them. So I worship Shri Prabhupad, I worship the Guru Parampara, I worship the Panchatattva, and then, like, you no, know, taking like all their blessings. So if you are pleased with my worship, you no, know, please allow, you no. Know, Uh, Sri Radha and Krishna to be manifest you know, in me in the form of the holy names of the Lord. You know, may I be able to hear the names of the Lord clearly when I chant. So in this way, like we actually petition the Lord. You no know, petition the Guru Parampara, petition the 
Panchatattva. So we are worshipping only one personality, that is Krishna. We are not worshipping many different personalities. We are worshipping only one personality. So because the spiritual masters are capable of giving Krishna to us, we are worshipping them. And they are also called as Saksha, Harit, Vena, Samastha, Shastra. Because they are capable of giving Krishna to us, they are also non-different from Krishna for us. Right? So in that way, like, we should actually worship all these personalities. And by their mercy, we will be able to access the mercy of Radha and Krishna. Right? And then anything is missed out in the altar, what we have discussed now, Narasimha <laughs> So Narasimha Dei we worship. Now it is like Lord Narasimha is a Vaikuntha Bodhi. So we are not worshippers of Lord Narasimha. We are not worshippers of We are not worshippers of Lord Narasimha. We are worshippers of Krishna only. Now why are we worshipping Narasimha then? Yeah. Removing obstacles. Yeah. No, that's the purpose. So our acharyas have uh, you no know, traditionally have adopted this means like worship of Lord Narasimha. So like Shri Radha and Krishna are busy with their pastimes, you no? Know? And the Lord, you no, know, Lord Krishna himself, in his expansion of Lord Narasimha, you no, know, he actually offers protection to the devotees. And uh, like you no, know, this is a tradition that our acharyas have. The practice. So in the line of tradition, so we are also worshipping Lord Narasimha. And we, what is the prayer that we have towards Narasimha? What are we supposed to ask from Lord Narasimha? I want to attain the lotus feet of Krishna. And you know, I am tormented by so many difficulties, you know, so many obstacles. So please protect me. Please remove all these obstacles. <laughs> so that I'll be able to attain the lotus feet of Sri Radha and Krishna. Right? So Lord Narasimha's worship also is in connection with the worship of Radha and Krishna. So that is how we worship your Lord Narasimha. Right? So we told in you know, friendship me bata diya le, no, pura altar ka. So abhi kuch doubt hai this way. Worship ka, you know, this one's Prabhu will uh, you know, teach after the Arthur. You know, will teach. So now any the questions in the understanding of your question. Is the reciprocation whatever we feel we realize is that revelation or revelation? So revelation of Krishna comes in the form of Nama, Rupa, Guna and Leela. Right? So first revelation of the Lord is that we will be able to hear the names of the Lord very clearly. That itself is a great revelation of the Lord. So you try your experiment, you know, like, uh, you know, without prayer to the Lord, so we try to chant the names of the Lord. So it's very, very difficult to focus and concentrate. So that means somehow or other, like material nature's influences on us. So now we have to pray to Krishna, that please, you know, help me to access you. you know, I want to, like, access you in this particular form. And so Srila Prabhupada used to say, you know, sometimes people used to come and tell that, no, like, uh, can you show me Krishna? No, can you show me God? So then Prabhupada is asked, like, you know, why are you putting so much of emphasis on the eyes? You no, know, ears is also one of the knowledge occurring senses. And this is the way Krishna reveals himself to us, you know, in the beginning, you know. So through the ears, you know, we actually access Krishna, you know, through the way of hearing the glories of the Lord. So, but in the hearing of glories of the Lord also, sometimes we cannot make out as no, actually, Krishna is revealing you know, himself to us or not. Because sometimes, so, like, story bhi thoda acha lagta hai, ya kuch logic, no, samaj nina thoda acha lagta hai. So, actually, humko, like, maza kis se aara pata nahi hai. You know, wo story line se aara hai ki, like, Krishna has revealed himself, us se aara hai, like, no, thoda samaj nina thoda mushkil hai. But then, in the chanting mein, koi cheating ne kar sakta hai. No? So, it is like, we have to hear the names of the Lord, that is when we will become, no, satisfied. A deep level of satisfaction actually comes in the heart you know, when we are able to nicely hear the names. You know, so of experience, you know? so some people also have experience here only. Like, no. So when you are able to chant nicely, you are able to hear very nicely, and you have a nice prayerful mood towards Krishna. You feel very nice. You no, know, that's actually a revelation of Krishna. That's actually a very nice bestowal of mercy upon us. Right. So that's very very important. So and then once that is there, so then the further revelation of Krishna will happen gradually, you know. 
तो ग्रेजुअली लाइक ऊपर जाते जाते पूरा एग्जाम थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट होते जाएगा सो एंड देन वी विल गेट दिस वन सो लाइक एंट्री लेवल इज वेरी इजी नो एनीबडी कैन एंटर सो बट देन एज वी प्रोग्रेस इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस वी हैव टू बिकम मोर एंड मोर प्योर एंड मोर एंड मोर सिंसियर एंड वन पॉइंट इट फोकस ऑन द गोल दैट आई वांट ओनली कृष्ण एंड नथिंग एल्स राइट सो दैट no narrowing down has to happen actually so if we are attached to any other things apart from krishna so then thoda dur tak jaake ruk jayega you know so then we have to narrow down saying no no only krishna i don't want anything else in my life no except for pleasure of krishna except for satisfaction of krishna <coughs> i don't want anything else right so that is that exclusiveness is very very essential in fact in one uh, shloka in shrimad bhagavatam krishna mentions like salo ke char upya sarishi samikhya ka tam api uta diya manam na gananti bina mat sevanam jana so here krishna you no know, lord is telling that salo ke char upya sarishi all these things are different forms of liberation salo ke means to reside in the same planet of the lord and sarupya is to have same bodily features like the lord and sarishi is to have the same opulence you know as the lord and samikhya is to have close association of the lord all of them are The available in the Vaikuntha. No, if any one of this liberation a person is getting, that means he is entered into Vaikuntha. And the, the Lord is telling that even if I give all these liberations, my devotee don't want to come back to the spiritual world. अरे ये क्या आता है? Like no devotee तो no तरफ़ तरफ़ है like no I want to go to the spiritual world करके. So then a clause is added. बिना मत से बनो. No जना. So like if Krishna says like you come back to the spiritual world, the devotee asks like no. What is my role there? So, like, itna itna kuch seva kia, you know, itna kuch tapasya kia, you know, sadhana kia. Abhi jaake thoda relax karo. Nee nee nee, you know, I want seva, like, do. You know, mat seva nam jana. Without service, if I call them to Vaikuntha, they are not willing to come. Now, why it is? Because see, we are servant of Krishna, and Krishna is our master. So, what is the relationship between the master and servant? Service is the relation, no? तो तो अभी लाइक एक को देखा देखा मैंने ही वाज टेलिंग जी लाइक मेरा प्रोजेक्ट नहीं है ऐसे कंपनी में बैठा हूँ नो लाइक वो क्या बोलते उसको फ्रेंड्स में बैठा हूँ नो सो ठीक है लाइक नो ये तो खुशी की बात है लाइक नो कुछ नो विदाउट एनी वर्क लाइक नो यू आर गेटिंग सैलरी लाइक Amazing, मजा करो तो फिर वो नहीं नहीं वो लाइक प्रोजेक्ट नहीं है तो लाइक बाहर फेंक देंगे ऐसा ही लाइक वो तो मेटीरियल क्लियर है बट देन इधर If we want to relate with Krishna, if we want to associate with Krishna, our only way of association is service. You know, because we are servant of Krishna. Without service, what is the meaning of servant? You no, know, there is no meaning of servant without service. So that is why devotee is so much interested. You no, know, I want service only. You no, know, that is the way he can connect with Krishna. Actually, and primary service. What is our primary service? What is our primary service? Hey, Gita, what's the first thing you say? Hey. chanting the names of krishna you know that's the primary service that we are supposed to do right so chanting reading hearing so these are all something every day we need to do and now additionally you know, we have to do the arati for the lord and sing you know for the glorification of the lord and offer next nice bhoga to the lord you know so all these services you know this is the lifeline of a devotee you know this is the connection this is the relationship that we have with you know with the krishna you know like if we you know uh, on the time of going back to godhead if No, like Vishnu Duda is asked, like, no, who are you? What is your relationship with the Lord? Why are you here? Ah, right, like, no, we are every day doing his name, jab kar rahe the, like, no, karti bhi kar rahe the, bhog bhi chada hai. Ah, okay, that's why I am here. You know, so that is the way. Like, our pension is here. You know, so a servant, like, pension is what? Like, servant, which kind of servant does? No, only pension. You know, so and then we assist in the preaching mission of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is our pension. You know, so this is our like. Uh, No, this one where we relate to the supreme lord. Right? Yes, sir. Sir, 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 that uh, those who are those who claim to be my devotees they are not my devotees those who are devotees of my devotees they are actually my devotees you know? so krishna likes you know, when we serve his devotees and devotees like 
when we serve Krishna. No. So, we kya karenge? <laughs> so, dono ko hi serve karenge, na? So, Krishna ko prasanna karne ke liye devotees ko serve karte hai, and devotees ko prasanna karne ke liye Bhagwan ko serve karte hai. So, jo devotee, no, bahut achche se Bhagwan ka seva karte hai. So, then all devotees like him. No, you see, like this devotee chants very nicely. So, he's so absorbed in Bhagavatam. So, he's like, you no, know, so much absorbed in the deity worship. So, and then what Krishna sees? Like Krishna sees that, oh, this devotee is serving my devotees nicely, you know? So like that, you no, know, so the, this one is, so Krishna likes when devotees are served, and devotees like when Krishna is served. So my spiritual master once he told that, uh, you know, if you go to Krishna and say, no, Krishna, I like you very much, I want to be with you, but this cow which is there next to you, no, uska, no, I don't like it. Krishna You have to love me. Love my cows. Love Madhu Mandir. Who else is there? Krishna's friends. No, all, all of them. No, if you love all of them, then you can actually come to me. Because these are my people. No? Like that. So that is how no, we actually... So that is when we hear the glories of the Lord. So we actually hear about the devotees of the Lord also. In fact, in the seventh canto of Bhagavatam, you know, it is mentioned that, uh, like, it is the canto is about nursing there, and nursing there, two chapters, two or three chapters, three chapters, right? No, no? Yeah. like nursing there, kills and then prayers and things like that. No, two three chapters, right? Pure Pralad Maharaj ka bara mein diye. No, it's like why because like discussion about the glories of devotee is non different from discussion about the Lord actually. No, that's the thing. So Bhagavatam, like everything is most of the time like no devotees have glorification you know? Okay. Any other question? Okay. We will now finish here and uh, no, now we will start the Arati. Shila Prabhupada Jai or Bhakta Vindaki Jai. Shri Vandal Pagridari Shiva Mahatma Jai.